Okay, for today, uh, we will be making a trout recipe that I hope everybody enjoys. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, one uh, fresh caught brown trout. This is uh, caught in northwestern Pennsylvania this morning. So it's very fresh, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to take you through some steps how to prepare trout. Uh, we're going to bake this with special seasonings and spices. Uh, to enhance the flavor. Uh, trout species is uh, excellent table fare, um, very healthy, has all those good vitamins and nutrients. Um, so I highly recommend in a, eating the salmonoid trout species uh, for that reason, for the rich vitamin content. Uh, in a, just a short time I will show you all the ingredients, but this is uh, what we start with, uh, one uh, about 14, 15 inch fish. Uh, wild brown trout, trout and then we're going to take you through steps of preparing it. Okay, the next step is to open up the trout. Uh, first thing I did was a single slit along the belly um, and then I cut up the throat and I took out the entrails, cleaned it really good, get all that stuff out, uh, rinse it off in really cold water. Um, so all we have left is, you know, the meat uh, of the fish and, uh, you know, I left the tail and head on for presentation. Um, you can uh, decide that on your own. But, uh, so she's ready to prepare. So we start off with a regular baking pan. And I'm just going to use a baking pan like that. I'm going to hit it real quick at the bottom with a little bit of cooking spray because uh, we don't want this to be messy. And we're going to lay that beautiful meat right down on the baking pan. Kind of center it. There you go, just like that. Alright, so first thing I like to use is <clears throat> definitely uh, I like lemon juice. This is 100% lemon juice. And we're going to give it a little bit of flavor here. I put it right on the meat, right on the filet there. Just kind of drizzle that on. Get a nice base there. And that's going to work into the fish itself and uh, exquisite the flavor for you. Um, next is what I think really makes it taste really good is butter. And I just like to make little chunks. And I'm just going to lay it on top of the fish as such and what that's going to do is, is as the oven heats up it's going to melt right into the meat and it's going to make that meat very very tasty so I got a nice little portion of butter all right uh, next is just go to the old traditionals um, salt and pepper it um, again, to your liking, I don't use that much salt, but a little bit, and then we're going to add pepper, and I do like pepper, add that all over the filet as such, and the last key ingredient um, is Old Bay seasoning, um, just has that particular flavor, I'm just going to be kind of generous with this, and lay that all over. The trout, you know, has a strong fish flavor. That old bag, you know, as that cooks and settles, it, uh, you know, is a very fine seasoning. I've always used it for uh, cooking with fish and seafood. And there you have it. It's simple. Um, we have a preheated oven at 375, and we're going to just let the fish sit as it is, and you, you'll see you've got the lemon juice base, you've got that real rich butter, and you have those two or three ingredients. You can add many different kinds of seasonings to your liking. I'm more traditional. I like just a salt, pepper, and then finish it off with a nice you know, amount of Old Bay to bring it that rich flavor. This is all gonna come together. Uh, it doesn't take very long. We're gonna pop it in the oven now at 375, and we will show you the finished product. And you're gonna have a really beautiful fish that's gonna become quite tasty 
when uh, all this cooking and completes with all the ingredients combined. I hope you're going to enjoy this. Okay, we just pulled her out of the oven. Uh, we have her finished product. And as you can see, she turned out beautiful. Uh, all those seasonings just, you know, melted right into the, uh, the fillet of the fish. Um, she's nice and crispy. Didn't take long. Took about 25 minutes at 375 to cook through. The meat's flaky. Um, the smell is outstanding. The aroma, the old bay, you know, with the natural trout smell as it cooks and sears. Um, came out very well. I uh, highly recommend trying this recipe. Again, I'm always a believer in using, you know, what's here on this earth, and that's, you know, fresh fish. That's key. If you buy store-bought or seafood uh, that might be two weeks on a truck, this was just caught in a Pennsylvania stream this morning. Here we are late afternoon, and uh, you can't get fresher than that. And, and that enhances the flavor, and there's such a big difference with fresh fish and fresh game. Definitely heart healthy and uh, just healthy, healthy lifestyle. So thank you, and uh, I hope you come back again and visit my channel. I'm going to continue uh, recipes. Um, with wild game and wild fish uh, to enhance cooking. So thanks and come back again.